Yeah, good morning. Today is expected to be a big day in the state capitol with the House voting on the amended version of the bill. The House is expected to take up the gun bill, which will then be sent to Governor J.B. Pritzker's desk to sign into law. 34 vote yay, 20 vote nay, zero vote present. Following a relatively short but heated debate Monday, the Illinois Senate passed a tweak version of the assault weapons ban as the Protect Illinois Communities Act heads to the House for a vote. We did hear concerns in committee and we made some changes during the day. The bill would make several changes, including banning the sale, manufacture, possession, and purchase of assault-style weapons, assault weapon attachments, and 50 caliber cartridges. On Monday, no Senate Republicans backed House Bill 5471. Make no mistake, when you vote for this today, you're violating your oath of office. You also must know that uh, I and millions of other gun owners in this state will not comply. Meantime, Democrats say it's time a law like this is on the books. With a keen awareness of the massacres occurring regularly, we as a chamber have an opportunity to take a step in the right direction. Governor J.B. Pritzker not in attendance for the Senate vote, but addressing the assault weapons ban during his second inaugural address later in the night. Why do we allow anyone to easily purchase a rapid fire high capacity weapon that can kill dozens of unarmed people in under a minute? While the measure has garnered support from gun safety and gun violence prevention groups, gun advocates say if any restrictions pass, they're ready. There's no question it's going to court. That's why we gave no testimony. There's no fixing this. We'll see you in court. Now, Illinois would join eight other states, including California and New York, who have passed laws banning assault weapons. Live this morning in the newsroom, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News. A settlement